So here is my audience. It's everyone's favorite time of the year again, fall time. A fall time that brings family and friends all flocking to a central location. For me, college students, pretty much they flock to their hometowns, hang out with their family and friends as well. When they hang out with their family and friends, they know that many of their aunties and uncles and many other family members are going to ask me a few of the most dreaded questions. One of them is, how is college? Of course, since you practice this question many a times in the mirror, you know, you answer with confidence, great. They follow up that same question with, what do you plan on doing after you graduate? You have an answer for that as well. You say a doctor. Many college students answer this exact same question without knowing the repercussions or what, uh, the, what is the best way to follow out that statement. With this, with this, what's that? I didn't even think what I'm doing. Speech. <laughs> with this speech, I want to allow students to be better, better prepared and know what they're getting themselves into. AAMC states that the best way to start off your college career is to actually meet with your advisor. Your advisor, though they have not went to medical school, they have advised many students in your same position. So that means that they have either advised hundreds to even thousands of students to actually prepare them for medical school. Of course, you don't have to take their advice, but they do have your best interest at heart. This leads to my next point. All accredited medical schools want a well-rounded student, and that means having a 4.0 GPA does not always matter. Having a 4.0 GPA pretty much proves to the university that you're a great test taker and you're well at, you're good at science classes. Most medical schools want a student that's also good in, in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. So what does that mean for you? You need to actually be involved in extracurricular activities, whether that's lab research, or maybe volunteering in, in your community. Now that you have joined a few organizations, make sure you're using your time the best way possible. Princeton Review states that many, many medical students or want to be medical students have an issue with procrastination. But procrastination is one of the deadliest things for most medical school one of these students. Procrastination could actually deviate you and have you spend more time in your undergraduate degree than you want to because you need to have all your major science classes out of the way before your junior year. U.S. News says that MCAT tests include many questions from sociology and psychology. So in, in advance, you need to make sure that you're taking all your sociology and course science classes ahead of time before you actually take your medical school, the MCAT test. Now that you've aced all your classes and needed for medical school, you now can obtain experience that will allow your application to stand out. Theodore Hall from UCLA of Medicine says, and I quote, our medical school center has cut down on shadowing opportunities for those who are not part of the formal program here due to HIPAA and security issues. That means that finding actual internships inside the hospital is quite hard to do. So you need to actually expand your mind and expand your research and get involved in not only your, your school lab research programs, but also have experience outside of your, med your university that you attend. Medical school, medical school headquarters spoke on just going to class, whether you're an undergraduate student or medical school student, being in the classroom supplies you with the knowledge, but having the tools outside of the classroom to actually apply the principles is probably the most important thing that a medical or aspiring medical student, aspiring medical school, aspiring medical school student would want or need. Using the tips I've given throughout the speech will allow you to better prepare yourself for medical school and have you closer to your goals of becoming a doctor. Now, the visual aid that I have for my speech is a state of board medical school exam. So this right here is typically the, the most important goal that most students want to gain after graduating from an undergraduate degree and also, of course, obtaining, uh, getting into medical school. Great. And here's my audience again.